Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So there has been a bit of confusion that has really happened in the PlayStation 5 scene just over the last couple of hours. So it really has kind of all started with this repo that came out, and it was by John Tornblum, which is Java BSD IPv6 dash UAF. Now, obviously, a lot of people believe that this was related to the PlayStation 5, mainly because of John's work with BD-J, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. But it didn't take long to hear, you know, PS5, which version, you know, two seconds later, how to get out of IDU mode, and then what is a hypervisor? And now all we need is BD-JB, right? Definitely related to the PlayStation 5, which we'll cover. But this repo in and of itself is not going to help us with the PlayStation 5 right now. And this has been confirmed over here by Spectre. So he said, FYI, it's not PS ready. This is really for BSD-12, which basically means that this is for free bsd 12.0. Now, if we go into the repo itself, these are the files that you will see. Now, if we take a look at the kernel exploit.java, we can see that it says right here, hey, this is the Java port of the PS5 IPv6 use after free exploit that was disclosed by the flow at this URL right here. And here it is, use after free in IPv6, leading to arbitrary kernel read-write primitives. So this is something that I released a video on just today that you can definitely check out if you want to hear a lot more of my thoughts around this. But inside of this, this basically led to our 6.72 and our 7 dot zero to jailbreak on the PlayStation 4 because of an exploit that was really found in FreeBSD 9 and FreeBSD 12. Now, if you go back to the kernel exploit that was mentioned just a couple of days ago, you'll see that it says the PS5 is vulnerable to this report, which is the 026, which is the one we were just looking at right here, which easily grants kernel access. Again, it was reported two years ago before the PS5 existed, and it is a new report and not a duplicate. Now, there is some details that's right here from the FreeBSD org, is, is that this was corrected in 12.1 and even some of these other versions of free BSD. So what does all of this mean? It means that basically what you have right here from John Tornblum is going to be something that you could run on a free BSD 12 machine in order to get that privileged kernel access. Now, this exploit even uses a file from the disclosure from three years ago. So if you go into the make file here and you scroll down a little bit, you will see that there is an exploit.c that is required. And that exploit.c simply comes out of right here, which is just the exploit.c. Now, that is not mentioned at all inside this repository. Now, in order to make this compile, you will need to come over here and download the exploit.c and then add that to your downloaded copy of all of these files in order to compile the application. So anyway, I just wanted to shed just a little bit of light on what exactly this was, since right now we don't have any sort of readme or there really isn't any other additional information about what is kind of going on here. Again, this was confirmed by Spectre here that this is not for the PlayStation. It's not PS ready, meaning it's not going to do a lot with this right now, but if you wanted to test this on a free BSD-12 system, then you absolutely could. And I did want to thank Control Execute for spending some time 
discussing this with me in detail. What you hear me present here is obviously a number of different thoughts that he had and I had kind of combined together. So anyway, thank you, Control Execute, for a chat about this today. Okay, so that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Michael, out.